Good morning. In this tutorial, we're going to be deploying a website from GitHub onto IPFS. IPFS is like a decentralized file system, so we can create a decentralized application running the front end on a distributed network. To do this, we're going to be using Fleet. This is a paid product, but it has a free storage of up to three gigabytes, which is more than enough for what we need. So let's go ahead and build this. So let's sign up or sign in. I'm going to be using Ethereum here. You can also connect GitHub. You're going to need to connect your GitHub repository anyway, so that might be a better way to do this. And obviously, if you're connecting via MetaMask, you need to be very careful about what you're signing. Always use a test wallet, and don't connect with the same wallet you're using to hold real funds. Once we're connected, we can go ahead and add a new site. We can connect our GitHub account, and that will show us all our repositories here. I'm going to scroll down to one called Ethereum Hacker. This is like a CTF challenge that I created. And we can choose whether we want to host it on IPFS or internet computer. I'm going to choose IPFS here. Note that this Ethereum hacker is on GitHub. So if we go to GitHub, James Puccini, and then Ethereum hacker, we can see the source code and the docs folder, which holds the website. This is just a plain index uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS website. You can also do it next, and we'll get to that in this stage. So once you get to the settings, you can choose the branch, which we're using the main branch on GitHub here. Then you have this framework option. If you're creating a React app or something like that, you can actually get this to build the site for you and then roll out the deployment. You can just kind of trio that on the um, application itself. So I've, I can, I've built it locally, or I haven't even built it. It's just a plain website, but you can build it locally, and it's what we're going to be doing for this. And then you just put in your base directory. So this. The website's held into the docs folder, so I'm going to put the base directory as docs. And we've also got build commands, Docker images, and environmental variables if you want to use them. I'm going to go ahead and deploy the website. Note that IPFS is a decentralized network, so it's not built for speed, obviously. You've got enough time to go make a cup of tea. Once we're all done, we can scroll down, and we've got a link here. And we've got a verify on IPFS at the top. So if we go into this, we can see we've got Fleek website or subdomain on ipfs.io and this is our hash. So we can copy this hash and we can like put that into just the normal ipfs.io website or any other ipfs gateway. We could use Cloudflare or something like that if you wanted to use their content and delivery network. So there we have it. We've migrated the code or the index.html website files and the images from the GitHub repository to ipfs and that's now hosted here forever. So if you're going to deploy, we can trigger a new deployment here. We also have some settings that we can play around with, uh, change site name, we can delete the site, we can block OFAC block countries, which is a little bit weird because it's meant to be like a decentralized censorship resistant network. But I digress. You can also go into domain management and there's an option here to add an ENS domain to point it to your deployed site. So this is a way that we can kind of migrate a site from GitHub build it and roll it out onto IPFS to host a decentralized application. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about decentralized finance and blockchain development, then subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.